Albany County Executive Dan McCoy wants officials to get behind a proposed authority that would facilitate what's next for the College of St. Rose. I don't want to be landlords, you know, but it's going to take us time to find the right fit, the right partnership, uh, the right vision for that property going forward. McCoy is proposing the county gets involved to avoid the worst case scenario. These buildings will be shut down. They don't they won't have enough staff to really secure all of them and you're going to see problems happen. To prevent those problems from happening, McCoy says the county is in a position to assist. Abby Bravo has similar concerns. She is the editor in chief at the St. Rose Chronicle. She says the newsroom is full of copies of the Chronicle and wonders where their archive might go. It's been running for almost 90 years, so I just hope that somewhere is a, a little archive of, of what we've done. She says unanswered questions were consistent throughout reporting. My main question that I have is why be so private and secretive about everything? Graduating junior Kyla Mayberry agrees. She majored in communications with a focus in public relations, taking 24 credits a semester to graduate a year early. The most frustrating thing is knowing that they were just actively hiding it, that we were still accepting freshmen um, when they were deciding if the school was going to close or not. While mistakes were made in the past, Mayberry says the closure could pave the way for a better future. I think the best thing that could be done is giving them back to the community, keeping them out of private hands. I think with the amount of housing that the college owns alone, it could be a great program for helping people who are houseless, who people who are low income, people who are facing housing insecurity. McCoy wants to see the buildings repurposed. We have a high school interested in moving there. We have businesses that are interested in moving there. McCoy is urging the public to reach out to his office. He says he wants to hear from the community about what they want to see happen with the campus. Reporting in Albany, Karina Dominguez, News 10 ABC.